uh, that the processes leading up to the declaration of the results were not flawed in any way and were okay, were credible? Would you say that? Yeah, from what I saw in the room, I, I wouldn't... didn't say there was anything wrong with it, was that I realized the NDC reps in the room did not have anything to be comparing to. And at one time, I think I overheard a conversation Roger was having with his party chairman that they sent him to the room without data. And that really impacted on my mind that why would they do that? So that is the one thing that stood out for me throughout the exercise that he didn't have data to be comparing it to. Whilst the other political parties had their laptops open, and any time any sheet was given, there, they compared it with the figures they had in there. So really and truly, I don't think the process in the room was flawed. But what my observers on the field, and re remember, we were in 1,200 polling stations. And for as a very tiny figure, I think maybe between two and three percent, our observers felt that the collation process could be done better. That is what we received in terms of our reports. And we are still working on our final report that will be coming out. So very soon when it's when it's ready, we'll 